So we're gonna talk about a two-parter of a video because this is gonna be the first part and it has to be made. So we're gonna be talking about the night of Vegas and the night, the day of my birthday. So we had to be on our flight at 7 p.m. and y'all know how airport time works. If y'all don't, they push back times to be different times or it goes really earlier than expected. And you have to wait for an uh, attendant to say that we can get on board. And this was my first time riding the airplane, so I was learning as much as you are. So I got a chance to choose the window seat, which was a pretty sight. Honestly, I enjoyed watching those people load up the um, airplane. But um, our flight was four hours away from the state where I'm at, which is North Carolina, to Vegas. And on the way there, I really didn't get just crochet. I was just watching videos on my phone and I took a nap. Which, y'all know the rumor about the airplane naps? I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because I suck at sleeping or it's because I took a 30 minute nap. But it really felt no different from me sleeping in my bed. Which, I struggle to sleep at all. Another thing I like to mention is how cool this is. I never went to an airport, but when I saw this was in there, I felt really out of place. So we took a little, I guess, a shuttle bus to like the area we had to go to get our lift. And my mom was still booking the lift, and that's my grandma on the side that was talking to me. But my mom was still booking the lift, and that's my mom in front of me. Um, and trying to figure out where to go from lift because that's one of the most confusing things confusing things luckily i went with my mom and grandma so they know how to handle airports and deal with it so after we got the lift we stayed at the mg hope ngm golly i messed up on that one badly ngm hotel which we'll talk about that in a second after we see this part I also forgot to mention at this point, I really had to use the bathroom while Mama was booking the lift over. So I thought that was a funny thing to add in. The next day was the 26th, which is my birthday. We got up and got ready, went to Gold Coast, I think. Um, if, I'm pretty sure it is. I'll put a picture of it right here. But we went to Gold Coast 
and we saw casinos, but we were really there for a buffet that my grandma was suggested to. Um, but we end up eating somewhere else. We end up eating at Denny's across the street from Gold Coast. Um, which that was pretty interesting. I mean, they had like the cinnamon toast pancake was so good. Like everybody at our table got it. We just had different um, frostings for it. It was so good. Um, honestly, it was super sweet. Like the frosting for it and the pancake itself was super sweet. Honestly, I could have got another three cavities from it. <laughs> so like, that's one thing I actually really did enjoy that morning. Uh, but after we got done eating, we went to the Gold Coast casinos and tried the casinos. Since I just turned 21, uh, my grandma was teaching me the loops around it. And when it comes to casinos, like how to feel a lucky machine when you feel like you'll earn something from it. Uh, we played for about two to three hours, which when I mean we, I mean me and my grandma. Because my mom, you know, the person that tagged along, really was not feeling the machines. Um... So afterwards, we got boba at the Chinatown district. But which one thing I would love to mention about Chinatown, the aggressiveness they have in Chinatown. Like, why are they so mad aggressive? That right there really confused me, like, during this whole trip. Why were the people in Chinatown super aggressive? Like, I love going to Chinatown in different states. But I would probably never, ever go back to this one. I only had one reason and one reason only to go to this one and it was Sanrio items which here are the pictures of the Sanrio items I bought from Chinatown then after that let's see we went to Chinatown inside of Chinatown but then oh we also went to a buffet inside of Chinatown this dude suggested when we were at the casino but failed to mention that the buffet was $42.99 per person and my mom was not liking that price at all which honestly wasn't the hype in my opinion not to mention our freaking waitress she was hovering over us the whole time like every second she was hovering over us i'm not gonna complain about everything i despise in this chinatown but it really didn't feel like a chinatown i felt like a strip mall when we left chinatown we went to Dollar General, Dollar Tree, and Ross. And if you don't know me and know my family, well, me and my mom love the thrift. And so does the other lady that comes along with us and my grandma. This was the outfit of the day. I only had eight items, but then I only bought three. Others just wasn't feeling my style, which let's be realistic. I couldn't fit in my suitcase anyways. That's the main reason why. Like I got too much stuff I bought, I couldn't even fit in my suitcase. Like I had to carry with me on the plane because I could not fit in my suitcase. Even though now I'm regretting not getting that black floral dress, which I probably did not take a photo back at a photo of it, even though it says in my notes. <laughs> but uh I look back at my photos. I don't think I took a photo, I'll be honest with you. But the rest I took the pictures of, and I'm glad I put back. But these three are the ones I bought, and I only took pictures of two of them because I didn't feel like the last one was necessary to take pictures of. But yes, that's all we did. If you were interested in a follow up, follow for part two, which I'm not even gonna say what I'm gonna post because I'll be honest with you, I have been struggling to make these edits.